Okay, so friggin, uh, friggin' rainier and poopier out today, big time, so that's okay. We're working on different things in here anyways. We're gonna chop this all up there. I got the saw out somewhere. Oh, got the blade and the saw and the this and the that and cigarettes and I tried this with the angle grinder last night, except for on account so my thin cutting blades are friggin' gone and I got thick cutting blades and they're too thick and that's dick. I don't have all day. Well, the place is just trashed. Look, you can tell. Probably not, but look at it. Holy freaking crap, but probably end up widening in the front end for Frig's sack. But she's ready, okay? She's ready. Ready to race, Boogie? Yeah. What are you doing? Get my governor's spring off. You got a, you got a dissing governor, the gauger compartment? Yeah, because it rubs <laughs> too much. Frig's sack. We'll be yeah. ready to test fire up here in, a, in about eight minutes. Okay, ready to start her up? Ready. Put your hand on the cigarette. She's on. No, it won't. Well, it was. No, it won't. No, it won't. Maybe we need some, maybe some choke. Maybe some choke. Oh. Give her a little throttle while you're giving her. Probably got the throttle screw. I probably got the throttle screw, screw way, too, way short. too short. Yeah. Okay, take 11. Choke this bitch. Wants to. Oh crap. Alright, well, we're a little further. Friggin', uh, still haven't done anything with uh, Boogie's chair there. He had to friggin' go, different things, so he'll be back in another day or two to friggin' cock around with this program. But uh, yeah, like we adjusted valves and stuff like that, but it's like. We, uh, I think we're going to bypass the governator because we're missing a bunch of pieces. Some some pieces got lost and now it's dicked, so you know nothing's controlling the actual throttle on the carbonator and whatnot, eh? So it's like for freak sack, but I watched a movie, I got a piece of coat hanger, we can make her work. But uh, here's, here's where we're at so far on the cigarette. I found these tires and they're totally austener, except for on account of one thing. We got some clearance issues, even this one. It's gonna rub there if we move it over anymore, like it's already touching, right? So, and then it doesn't leave much in the way of a of a of a stem. But uh, my one pound junker build, he uh, does things along the lines of get something like this. I think he, you know, uses a long. I got longer one with the, you know, the the shank on. It's not so threaded. But uh, I think if I just cut that threads off there, and uh, just give her a little weld right on the end there, so, and then we'll have something along the lines of that and then we can you know nut and bolt it on and then I can put a a friggin washer in the back of this well actually this is just cigarette on there so I can just uncigarette it and then move it over to where it needs it and friggin weld it back on there where it needs it and then we'll have wider zone it'll be a little wider in the front which will be more awesomer because the back's going to be pretty wide but uh like it's got, uh, see on the on the inside of this one, there's a lot more spacings than, than, than that one there, right? So like when I first had it together, I had it flipped around the other way. So, you know, the, the tires were even more wider, but I think this is gonna be wide enough. But, you know, if it's if it's awesome, or, you know, I can try it both ways. Uh, I can try it both ways with these with these hubs. It'll be, it'll be easier, but obviously, you know, we've just got them sitting on there for funsies right now, just looking. You can see if that guy goes on there like that, how much that's far over as you go. And then if you put it on like quit, you got not so much, but lots still. You know what I mean? Oh, what's going on, buddy? Smoke cigarettes? Yeah. All right on, man. That's awesome, man. But uh, yeah, so got a, oh, and the brake too, a cigarette, you know, we're just looking, right? So I figured I got this brake mat bracket and a brake and everything. And, you know, we're just looking, right? But so that should work. You know, I'll probably, it's just got a little tab on there. I'll probably just bolt it on. It's got two holes, so I'll just weld another little flat piece on there. I went and got some at the scrapyard, worked perfect. That stuff there. I'll just cut a, cut a piece of it and it'll just stop it from wanting to rock. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, should be good. I might need a, a bigger sprocket. I think I already told you that, but, uh, the engine will be like almost directly above, like the shaft of the engine will be almost directly above where the axle is, so there won't be no, you know, oh, my, my, my engine slipped and now my chain's looser as frig, you know what I mean? It won't matter. But, 
yeah hopefully like this is a little bit baggy but it doesn't have a whole lot of a whole lot of pivot it still hits the thing or you know the tires don't hit the for frig sakes or when uh, when it's fully pivoted so that's more awesome okay after a bunch more hours of grinding and carrying on like an idiot we got uh, some stuff set up for welding there got the cigarette cut off chamfered the ends apologize cigarette the ends fuck sakes saying stuff what, what it really is and over here friggin uh oh most most we lost him we lost him he was hungry but uh i figured i'd just eyeball these up because it's easier because the hole on the plate itself is just a little bit baggy you know this will fit perfect on the shaft but this is a little bit baggy so but if you eyeball it down in there you can see pretty much well you know if you're freaking centered or not and that looks pretty much centered so i'll just zzz, zzz, you know get her get her tacked while she's sitting like that and then we'll turn her on her side and just fill fill in this uh this little you know the gap there or whatever with with weld and whatnot whatever so but uh, hopefully before uh, before too many more jasmine breaks, we'll uh, have this a rolling chassis. Oh, friggin' rights, it's still before jug up and friggin' we got our friggin' rolling chassis. I welded the friggin' angle cigarettes on there because I'm not sure that I 100% am satisfied with that. But uh, other than that, looks pretty awesome here. Got clearance for the wheel bracket on it hold it up a little bit more freaking rights new wheels new extended spindle antlers more more way awesomer more more clearance in the zone there so freaking rights a couple fenders a bit of a chain throttle cable still have to deal with the pedals because I was going to go with like a hand throttle but you can't like have a hand throttle and turn the steering wheel 57 freaking times you that no you can't right so I'll have foot foot throttle foot brake would be awesome but uh, I better have some jug up and some cigarettes because it's going to be a long day of getting parts again tomorrow frig sack so anyways boys freaking don't forget to uh check out onepuglife.com all that horse shit get your decals different things friggin uh don't forget to check out carbonics on facebook give them a like there and uh different things and then uh when a dick or decal deal once he reaches a thousand he's gonna pick a dick so friggin rights and uh still still a couple days for an entry for a friggin dickle decal deal movie send it to my inbox or whatever about your dick or decal deals or whatever and different things Anyways, look how friggin' badass this is before the movie's over. That's gonna be an awesome looking trapter. Anyways, boys, friggin' there you go, another Dicker Pug One production. So until tomorrow. Don't let the watchers get you.